Hey everyone, this is Mayu, and welcome to another blindfold drawing challenge. Some of you have been asking for a new one. Many of you know that I've drawn Elsa before in various different ways on both my channels, but this is the first time that I'll draw her blindfolded. So let's see how this is going to turn out. Alright, I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited to do this. So let's put on my scarf here, and let's see how I'm going to draw Elsa blindfolded. So putting on my scarf, make sure it's really dark so I won't be able to see anything. And I'm going to tie this up real nice in the back of my head so it won't slip during the drawing. Okay, that's nice and tight. I can't breathe. Alright, there we go. So it's nice and tight. It's pitch dark right now. I cannot see anything. Okay, it's snug. Excellent. Okay, let's get started. So I'll be drawing Elsa in the original Disney style like how I did her in my second channel as a speed drawing. But this time I'm going to be blindfolded, so it's kind of scary, but I'll try my best. Okay, so I just need to feel the paper so I can start around the middle of the paper. Otherwise, I might draw everything like towards one side or like a corner, and that's not going to look good. Okay, here comes Elsa. So this will be her head and shoulders. Let's see, let's start right around here. Going down into her face outline, the cheek, the pointy little chin, and then her jaw. Going up to her ear. Alright. That was the easy part. <laughs> now I have to take my best guess and see, um, or well I can't really see, but try to guess where I started the first line because now I have to draw her eyebrow. Let's say right around here. I'll make it dark. But hopefully it's not too bushy. I'm sorry if it's too bushy. <laughs> I hope it's not. Okay, I'll leave a space so she doesn't have a unibrow. And then I'll go up into another eyebrow. She's got such a cool expression. I love how she has her eyebrows kind of tilted. Alright, so those are her eyebrows. Hopefully they're kind of in the same position. Uh, let's go down towards her nose. Cute little small nose, little nostril. And then the smile, she's got this nice little grin. So let's draw the grin. Some pretty lips. Okay, those were the top ones. Let's draw the bottom. Okay. Alright, so I got the eyebrows, the nose, the mouth. Excellent. Alright, now her eyes. I think this is going to be the most difficult. The eye. This side, I hope, is underneath the eyebrow. And in this position, this eye would be a little bit smaller than the eye that will be coming up. Okay, I'm gonna draw her pretty lashes now. Okay, there we go. Now the pupil. Hopefully it's underneath the eyelid. A little shine in there. Okay, I'll color in the pupil dark. And then I'll be coloring the iris later on with the blue with my Copic markers. All right, so that's one eye. Okay, I'll leave a space, go into the next one. The other eye will be a little bit bigger. Okay, the eyelid. I have this mental image in my mind as I'm going along this drawing. I'm kind of checking off all the things I've drawn already and I have to remember what I drew already so I don't draw the same thing twice. Hopefully that is where I'm supposed to draw the eye. The little highlight and then the dark pupil. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is so, this is really scary. Cause I have no idea what I'm drawing. I have no idea where the last mark I drew is. So I, I just have to guess all the time. 
Okay, so I have her eyes and her facial features. She's got a few little freckles. I'll just give her some small ones. There we go. All right, now let's go up into her hair. So let's see. Top of paper is here. Okay, so try not to go off the page. Let's start from the middle of her hair, going into the nice little groups of hair on her head and I don't want to forget this little small piece that hangs in front of her face. I think that's so cute. Okay, so let's see. Maybe I should draw more hair. And then a little bit of the hair on this side. Otherwise, it'll look like she has no hair on this side of the face. Okay, so I have the side of the hair and then the top. Let's go around and then, um, right, the braid. Oh, the braid. Ah, the braid! Okay, let's go down. Stop there. I hope that's where the ear is, so I'll stop there. And then uh, down, down, down into the braid. Oh, all right. I just have to try my best here. Okay, here is one line to start the braid. Here's another line. Okay, from this line, let's go here. I'm kind of trying to remember how I drew the braid in my Manga Elsa tutorial. Oh, the pages, the, the edge of the page is coming up. Okay, I, I have to make this smaller now. Let's make this a smaller braid. Okay, I'm drawing these little shapes. Ah, I'm gonna go off the page. Okay, here's the end of the braid. Ah, oh, made it good. Uh, she does have little pretty snowflakes inside her hair. So this is the one at the very tip of the braid. Okay. And then she's got a few more little ones just here and there inside the braid. Okay, draw some lines in the hair to make it look more like hair. All right, so I got her braid, excellent. Now let's go up into the neck. So I'll draw the neck coming down. Then this will be part of her shoulder, goes down here. And then part of her dress and then the rest of the body. All right, I think that is all. I just need to do a double count. So head, face, facial features. Okay, the hair, the back of the head, braid, the little snowflakes, and then her shoulder and the neck. Okay, excellent. All right, so I think I'm done drawing. And now let's color this picture, still blindfolded. So I have my Copic markers set here and I memorized the order so hopefully I'm not going to color her hair like green or anything. Alright, otherwise, whew, that's got to be beautiful. Okay, so to color her, I think I like to start with her hair. So I know this one is red and then the next one is orange. So then this should be my yellow. This will be a pale yellow. I'm taking it out. Uh, I don't know which end is the tip. Or which end is the uh, brush tip, so let me just feel it. Alright, yeah, I think that's the brush tip. Alright. Okay, coloring Elsa's hair. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, I'm going into the hair. I am leaving some highlights, and hopefully that's gonna show, because I have no idea where I'm going with this marker. Okay, I'm coloring the back of the head now. Hopefully I can avoid her ear. I'm just drawing the ear shape. Okay, now I'm going into her braid. <sighs> okay. All right, I 
I think that should be around it. I think I got the braid in there. Okay, excellent. Let's put the yellow back. So here I have red, orange, and then yellow. Just need to put that back here. Now let's go into the skin color. So on this side, I know this is gold. That's brown, so this should be peach for her skin. Check the tip. This feels like the, the other tip. I need the brush tip. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. okay, coloring her face. Supposedly, I think this is the forehead. Okay, now getting into the area between the eyes and then the nose. Okay, that's her cheeks, or one side of the face, going down towards the chin, leave some space for the lips, okay, and then the ear, I need to color the neck, so getting the neck color and then her shoulder, Hopefully that's the shoulder. Ah. What do you think so far, you guys? <laughs> Does this look like Elsa? <laughs> Please share in the comments below. <laughs> okay. All right, so I think I'm done with the skin color. Gold, brown, empty spaces for the peach. Let's put that back in. <sighs> Oh god, this is really challenging. All right, now I have, um, okay, I think I should color her makeup. Okay, she has purple eyeshadow. So the purple should be, let's go here, red, orange, yellow. This should be green. This is aqua, light blue, dark blue, purple. I hope this is purple. I hope I remembered correctly. This should be purple. That's the tip. Okay, good. Okay, take my best guess for the eyelid. This is the first eye. This will be the second eyelid. Such beautiful eyelids. Okay. All right, let's put this back in. I'm trying to find the empty slot. There we go. Okay. Now the blues. The blue for her eyes and then the blue for her snowflakes and a little bit of the dress. So red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, light blue. Okay, here's light blue. That's the tip, the brush tip. Oh, I have no idea where the eyes are. Let's say this should be where the iris is. So that's one eye done. Let's go to the other side. Okay. And then uh, for the snowflakes, I have no idea where I drew them. I'll take my best guess. So maybe here's one in the hair. Two. Did I draw two or three? I think three. Uh, all right, I think three plus the last one. The last one should be around the tip of the braid and it's a little bit bigger. Okay. Now using the same blue, I need to go into the little bit of the dress. Okay, hopefully that's part of her dress and that's the shoulder or the piece just a little bit below the shoulder. Okay. Put this back and I know my dark blue is right beside the light blue. So put this back here and then this should be the dark blue. That's the brush tip. Nope, that's the chisel tip. Brush tip should be this one. Yeah, okay. All right. Getting a little bit 
of the dark blue inside the eye for depth. I like building those layers of colors because it really adds a lot of dimension. Okay, so hopefully that's in the right place. And then as for her dress, I do want to give a little bit of the dark blue as detailing on her dress. Okay, so I think that should be about right. Alright, I'm going through my mind all the different colors. I do think I need a few more. Here's a slot for the dark blue. Right beside the dark blue should be purple. And then pink. Okay, just to make sure. I'm going to go into her uh, cheeks and then her beautiful lips. To make sure I have pink, let's go here. Red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, light blue, dark blue, purple, pink. Yep, okay, so that should be pink for her cheeks. She does have some pretty pink on her cheeks, so let's get some of that in. Oh, lovely pink cheeks for Elsa. Okay. And then her lips. I think that's the last last thing that we need to color. If my memory is correct. So this should be red. That's the first one. Or, well, it's not really red. It's more like a really nice deep pink. Is that the... That's the... That's the other tip. Okay, let's get the brush tip. Okay. Alright. I hope this is where her lips are. And not above otherwise I don't know might look like a red mustache or something all right so hopefully that's where her lips are okay I'll put that back and I think we are done oh yes I need to sign my picture I need to get this red back in here first get in there okay all right okay where's my sharpie Okay, let's sign this and let's see how this turned out. Okay, blindfold Elsa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> I do think the hair is not too bad because I kind of got all the different shapes in kind of the right area and then the head compared to the size of the uh, the face is not too bad as well so I think it's pretty good <laughs> but the eyes are just like dangling outside her face <laughs> oh her lips are like right down here in the chin and the head is like not even connected to the neck but I think it's not too bad <laughs> <laughs> Please let me know which blindfold drawing challenge you like the best, this Elsa or any of my other ones. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know uh, when was the first time you started laughing. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe so you won't miss new fun videos I have every week. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day! Learn how to draw and color more beautiful cartoons with my Fun to Draw ebooks and my Fun to Draw apps. They make great gifts for birthdays and holidays. Links are in the video description.